in the international community to produce results after nearly nine years of international engagement. There will be foreign ministers and representatives from nearly 70 countries and international organizations. It will be chaired by Hamid Karzai, the Afghan president, and the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. The UN Special Representative to Afghanistan, Stefan de Mistura, joins us here now. Stefan, I'll ask you a question. Afghans are asking, why another conference? Well, because the Afghans themselves have asked for this conference. In London, it was a commitment between the international community and the Afghans. In other words, saying, we are with you. Now the Afghans want to tell the international community, give us more chance to show that we can handle our future, both on the civil and on the military side. And if we do so, give us the funds, but not new funds. Realign the old funds you already allocated for your own projects to us. The international community will say, but we don't trust all what you're doing. And that's why there will be benchmarks. And that's the new element of this conference. So in other words, you are expecting commitments from the Afghan government. They will fulfill certain promises they've made to their own people. Exactly. It's in fact the opportunity of a promise, but a concrete promise own people, not to the international community, but in order to get the resources, the international community and their own people will ask for benchmarks. And those benchmarks will be checked every six months. In other words, it's quite a serious endeavor and it's leading towards what we all call, talk about but needs to be concrete, Afghanization. Afghanization also means, in the minds of the critics, an exit strategy for the many nations who've been involved here for a long time. Well, what are going to talk also to other elements. One is called the reintegration. Reintegration is basically a fund which will be launched through the conference in order to show to those who are outside the tent, and you know who I mean, to come inside the tent with a package of reassurance and financial. The other one is the other key word is transition, moving from military to civilian, and from civilian to Afghan. Does this mean tax it? No because this will be condition-based and will be gradual, but it is in the direction of a change. Well, we'll soon find out. Stefan de Mistur, the UN Special Representative, thank you very much uh, for joining us here in Kabul at an absolutely important time in this country. The eyes of the world will again be on Afghanistan, but the eyes of the Afghans, most of all, will be on this conference, because many say if it doesn't start moving forward, there's a great risk it'll move back. We'll continue to follow the events from here, but for now, that's all from us in Kabul. Back to you in London. Lise, thanks very much indeed. Lise Doucette. This is GMT with me, David Eads. Coming up in a moment, the future of flight.